I'm going to show you how to add the online ordering, the smart online order to your WordPress website. So let's suppose you have a Clover POS like this, or you may have a Clover Mini, um, and you want to add online ordering. I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you would do, you go in the back end of your WordPress website, press plugins, and then press add new. Okay. Once you press add new, just do a search for Clover. And then uh, since this is WordPress, uh, you're going to install this one right here, activate. I've already activated it, but once you do activate it, you're gonna you'll see it right here on the bottom. Press settings, and then once you press settings, it's gonna ask you for the API key. So again, to get the API key, you install the Smart Online Order app on the Clover dashboard. Okay, once you get that, you just copy and paste it here. I went ahead and pasted my API key. Next step is just ask you to confirm the address. Uh, just look at the address; if everything's correct. Just press Save Changes. The following steps are pretty self-explanatory, pretty straightforward. You press import inventory, and you press import inventory at the top here. Once you press import inventory, wait for the inventory to load. If you see zero items, zero categories, zero modifier groups, uh, chances are you haven't added the inventory yet. But I'm going to go ahead and press refresh, see if something changes here. Okay, it looks like, uh, yeah, so here's the categories. Four categories, 17 items, 13 modifier groups, two tax rates. This is the inventory that's imported from the Clover. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to order types, and you want to ask yourself, am I doing delivery or am I doing uh, pickup? Or am I doing both? If you're doing just pickup, just disable this one right here. And then once you do that, just press save, and then wait for it to update. And once it updates, it will remove the delivery option so that your customers cannot uh, request a delivery on their account. <clears throat> again, you can add more order types. Let's suppose you want to add curbside pickup. You can do that. You can say dine-in so people can order online and, and, and then come in for a dine-in. Next step, categories and items. Now go through your categories and just double check uh, and ask yourself, am I offering specials? Am I offering large, large salad? Am I offering toast? You know? If you are, just keep it enabled. If you're not, just hide it. Let's say you want to offer your special, your your toast at the very top. You could do that. So toast comes first, large salad, specials, and everything like that. Okay. Next, actually, let me let me while I'm here, I'm going to add a picture to the large salad. I believe I have a picture of a salad. So go through your go through your media library and see if you have a picture of a salad. There we go. Insert into post. Okay. There's my picture of a salad. Uh, later on, I'll show you what that looks like from the front end. Next thing you want to do is look at the modifier groups. These are your modifier groups. You basically choose, uh, you know, from up to down, uh, which ones you want to add. And inside the modifier groups is the modifiers. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Next, you want to do is checkout settings. You want to ask yourself, um, do I want my customers to pay at the location? If so, leave it enabled. If not, disable it. Uh, if you have SSL, turn this off. So in this case, this this website has SSL, so we don't need to use a different checkout page. Coupons. If you want to start coupons, you can do that right now, or you can do that later on. Service fees. If you want to uh, charge service fees, you can do that. Tips. If you want to accept tips, make sure to install the tip app on your Clover device. Verify with SMS. Yes. If you are allowing your customers to pay in the store, then you want to enable this because it will verify their identity by verifying their cell phone number. Uh, you can turn it off, but I don't recommend it because you may get no-shows. People will order online, and they will not show up. Special instructions, uh, leave that enabled. Um, I think it's people may want napkins or water or change something. They'll write it in the special instructions box. Leave this one the way it is because we already made a very good thank you page. Press save changes. Once you press save changes, you want to go next step down, which is store settings. Put your email address right here so when an order comes through, you get an email in case your printer is not working or in case your internet goes out, you'll have a backup of the email coming to you saying you got a new online order. Again, you can put your cell phone too if you want. Business hours. Make sure you add your business hours on Clover. In this case, when you see this small yellow like that or it doesn't say anything, that means the business hours have not been added to the Clover dashboard. So make sure to add the business hours. Okay, next step is uh, schedule order when the store is closed. This is good uh, because because when you enable this, uh, when your store is closed, people can still order and and it will allow them to uh, choose a time the next time you're open. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that. And then press uh, Save Changes.
And then uh, store interface, the one we chose for you is really nice, so keep it the way it is. But if you want to change a different store interface, you can do that. Next step, uh, let's go down the list. Um, delivery areas. If you're doing delivery, make sure you add your zone. How do you add your zone? Press add zone, give it a name, uh, circle. I'm going to say five mile radius. I'm going to say my delivery fee is $3. Press draw zone. Actually, uh, yeah, actually this is New York, so we want to go even less. Okay, uh, 1.98 miles. Press value selected zone, and then press save changes. Since I'm not doing delivery, it's not going to take effect. But if you are doing delivery, just keep that in there. You can you can have that there already for you to, for you uh, when you are ready. Okay. Next step, uh, coupons. Again, you can do that too. But for now, I'm going to keep it just like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. I'm going to press order online now. Now my order online page will pop up. There it is right here. Do you remember how I added a picture to the salads? Yeah, there's that picture to the salads. Uh, let's say you want to add your own salad. You can do that too. That's pretty pretty easy also. How do you do that? You press items, images, description, which is right here or here. Just press it one time and then find a picture you want to add to it. So let's say I'm going to find a salad here. Um, panino salad. Just press add edit image. Add a description to it. Tastes great. This salad is made fresh daily. Um, upload image. I'll pick a salad. Um, I'll just pick this one. Okay, I'll just pick this one again. I'm just showing you as an example, so make sure you choose the right picture. Okay? Um, this is called Panino Salad. I'm, now I'm going to save it. I'm going to refresh the page now. And then uh, let's see where the panino salad is. Uh, panino salad. Let's see where is the panino salad. Okay, it looks like they have a panino salad, but they didn't add a. Uh, they didn't put it inside a category. So make sure that your salad is inside a category for it to show up. But let let me go ahead and just do something else real quick. Um, a mixed meat. Okay, let's do a mixed meat instead. Oh wait, did I save this? Yeah, this wasn't there. Okay. Let's find something else real quick. Mix meat. Okay, I'm going to add an image to it. Uh, I'm just going to pick this picture just randomly. This tastes great. Save item. Okay, and then uh, refresh the page again. And then mix meat will have a picture and it will say tastes great. There it is. Taste, this tastes great, okay? Mixed meat tastes great. And there's my picture, okay? Again, this is not a mixed meat. I'm just giving you an example. Make sure you upload the correct images on your own website. Uh, again, you don't have to add images, but I'm just showing you, you you can if you want to. All right, let me go ahead and remove the mixed meat from here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this image because I don't want that to be associated with it. I'm also going to go ahead and remove the other one I added, which was for the panino salad. Because that's not a maybe that's not the correct picture. Okay, and I'm gonna remove this also. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page now. Okay, perfect. Now we have a picture of a salad, and then we have the options here, and that's that's how you do that. Okay. Um, it's yeah looks good so that's how you that's how it can be set up and you can continue from where i left off and uh, do other things with it as well but that's how you make the changes oh one last thing i forgot to mention to sync press settings in case you made changes to your clover pos uh to do a manual sync right here manual sync so let's say you change the prices on your clover just if you change the prices press update all items if you change the category image or i mean if you change the category text or something like that Press update categories and it'll update it for you. I recommend doing all three because these are the major one that gets changed. So just do this one, this one, and that one, okay? Go in that order, it will update everything for you. All right, and then if you deleted lots of stuff, you can do a clean inventory as well. But this is the main thing you may, may be doing at least once a month or so in case you do lots of price changes. All right, um, thank you so much for your time. Have a good day.